Hey people, here with another LEGO Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker set review, and this one is on Poe Dameron's X-Wing Fighter. So on the front of the box you see the logos and the border that we've seen since last year's fall wave, and picture of the set in action with a bunch of TIE Fighters in the background. The minifig selection, Disney logo, and age recommendation being 9 and up, set number 75273 has 761 pieces. Flip the back to see the logos again and all the features of it and in a resting position and yeah. And on to the instruction manual. I would same pictures on the front and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. Of the pieces that come with the set. After the Skywalker Saga game, and then after the rest of the, or for all the winter 2020 sets, and after Lego Life and the last step. So, first of all, for the mini fix. For the minifix, first of which is Poe Dameron. Everything about this one, same as from the last Poe Dameron X Wing set in 2015. Or, yeah, 2015 with Force Awakens. But still great, uh, still great prints all over. And the piece also the same. Back torso print of which also great. But also, this one is also do get the hair piece, which also the same as it's been since the other X Wing set in twenty sixteen. So double side face, same as it's been since then. And that's about it with that. And next to which is R2D2. Which about the same from Obi-Wan's hut in this current wave. And, and besides that, the head print and torso print. Which same as it's been for a long time for a while. And starting to get a little repetitive. But down to the more interesting ones is an exclusive member of one of the Knights of Ren. Where just unlike like the last one that was in the TIE Sith TIE Fighter set in uh, Gunmetal Gray, but it's torso print, neck prints, which looks great. But the helmet, or the mask part of which, also looks great. Or really cool. Like, do you get the. As you can see, it has some good prints all around, and underneath it, just plain black head, like we did with one of the last ones in the first wave. And that's the Throop thing. And this dagger, which is kind of interesting form of weapon. And there's his back torso print, of course. And last but not least, of who's exclusive to this set is Janna. So like, a, like the torso print of which done really goodly. Okay. So anyways, for the torso print of which done quite goodly, but a complete lack of like prints. Oh, 
Okay. <coughs> we just have the bow and arrow since it's been for a long time. And also some exclusive arm printing, of which quite cool for I mean think. But the hair piece of which is exclusive to that and if you want to use it with other characters you can like uh, paint the visor here with their uh, which but it, other than that it does look kind of cool for that and, and just like one of the dwarves in the hobbit line it fits right over the quiver props to lego for that and flip over has a double side face and it seems like back printing so it's kind of disappointing why we didn't get this in the first place, but but it's good to have it here as well. I hope she might be in other sets down the line, but whatever. But at least quite desirable for this new movie, and good to have some diversity in many things of which. And so the only side build is this ladder. Kind of reminiscent of the ladders that we got in other X-Wing sets, where it's just four pieces and it can just swivel back and forth, obviously, but well, no need to bother with that. But now to the main part of it, being the X-Wing itself. Well, the build of which is kind of similar to Luke's X-Wing from summer 2018, but modified slightly and being sold like this. It's a little bit annoying, but besides that, at least good that it's here. But also I quite like the color scheme that just really jumps out at you. Like, I guess white, orange, and accents of blue. So like, as for the nose area, which Quite the same as from past X-Wings, but with a little venting in it. It's kind of interesting. And up a little more. See, it does have a single. Just this one side has the sticker to it, but there's just like three stickers in this set, which good to hear. Uh, move up a little ways and has the stud shooters just like the last couple ones did and, and see a lot of good snocked techniques all around it and as for the cockpit area of it which can flip open and, it, and if you look down inside it does have those like printed uh plates with for buttons and such and also another one that's exclusive to this one and a little clip to store or a blaster on too and yes enough space to fit your podammer on anything in and close it over it and it fits in perfectly and as for this upper area which fit is to fit your r2d2 anything and see so it does have both a tile and a one by two jumper which gives enough for it to get in and out easily and does fit goodly in that although I wish it could have gone in a little deeper or so with this torso area doesn't jut out a little but besides that it does look good although you can add some other orange pieces to it to hide that <coughs> but as for the wing engines of which done also built quite goodly like these new uh rounded slope pieces which is major update from the last versions and as the wings of which have a lot of good sloping to it and also so also built quite good and as for the which also kind of similarly and spring load launchers are do fire off well like so and one thing that annoying is it's only on the bottom wings but the other few versions had it on both ends so i just feel like why not have it on both sides and it's like those it would have been some extra playability with this but whatever but if look from the back as 
as you can see. It does have the white rubber bands, but it's on both sides. But unlike with the last couple versions where we used the longer rubber bands that were in blue or so, but at least great to have it in white. At least good that they're in white to help blend in with the color scheme. But although it would have been all right if it was the same kind of build as the last couple ones with the blue uh, rubber bands, then it would have worked out as just about as fine as well. And does have those wheel pieces in blue, oh, which good for mock making, or good for mocks, of course. And it turns pink coming off, but just also like the others. And then have this gearing gear for the whatever reason, but can't pull it out like the 2016 version. And as for this little landing foot, can extend that and put up like so. And to the main feature of which is just like the 2018 version where it pull this and it forms the X foils of which promising of other X wings. Also, another neat thing is that with the thing here between the landing gear, you can push it and it claps back to in, to in place. Also, like the 2018 version, and yeah. And so now let's get on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict on this set, of which a pretty cool version of the X-Wing, even though it's about $10 more than the last couple X-Wings, but, at least, but a, at least different color scheme than the other two, but and also some different designs added to it than the other versions. And as for the minifig selection, which the first two of which kind of repetitive, but the other two being the only way to get Janna in a set, and also another one of the Knights of Ren, also good to have, and yeah. But also get plenty of mock pieces as well, and yeah. And if you're looking to get this set for your Rise of Skywalker sequel trilogy collection, then go ahead and pick it up. And if you're looking to complete your Knights of Ren display, also go ahead and pick it up. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.